Okay guys, uh, I'm Dr. Sexton from Encinitas Family Care and today we're going to be talking about uh, my systematic treatment of musculoskeletal problems. This is going to be a little bit different for every uh, muscle area that we're dealing with, so if you need to look at specifics, take a look at some of our other videos that are going to have to do with stretching various areas of your body, whether they be your arms, your back, your legs, we're going to try and eat, uh, address each one individually. But today uh, I want to look at a three-pronged approach to try and take care of uh, all of these kinds of problems. The first thing that you want to deal with whenever you've got uh, some sort of musculoskeletal pain is that you want to try and take care of the inflammation. This is the least common denominator that you as a patient or I as a doctor can take care of with this because whatever injury you've had has already happened and uh, unless we're going to do surgery, there's really not much that we can do about that. So you want to try and start at the least common denominator and that is the inflammation. Some of my favorite medications to use for inflammation are going to be uh, medications like ibuprofen or naproxen or the over-the-counter version is going to be Advil or Motrin that you may have been prescribed, uh, or Aleve is the same thing as Naproxen. In order for any of these medications to work though, you have to take them at a high enough dose, which in the case of Advil might be 3 Advil or 600 milligrams of Motrin or 800 milligrams of Motrin. If you're using Aleve, you'll probably want to use two of those Aleve twice a day and use that consistently for a period of time, let's say one week or two weeks for a major, major uh, injury. But these kinds of things are not uh, going to be substituted by your pain relievers. Or if your naturopath is telling you to take turmeric, this is not a sufficient anti-inflammatory uh, because turmeric is really more of an antioxidant than an anti-inflammatory. So you want to make sure that you're taking something like this and work with your doctor to try and find out which one of those is going to be right for you and avoid side effects. But the second thing you want to take care of whenever you're dealing with a musculoskeletal problem is that you're going to want to take care of the effects of that uh, musculoskeletal problem, that injury, that inflammation. And so you may be getting some pain and, and try and take care of that with your doctor, um, but more often than not, you're going to see problems with musculoskeletal uh, spasms that are going on. And so I like to teach my patients the way to stretch those muscles specifically. Whenever you go and get a massage, or whenever you go and see a chiropractor, or if you're getting acupuncture, uh, these are the kinds of things that are going to be taken care of number two uh, whenever you're dealing with that. But a lot of people go to chiropractors thinking that it is going to relieve the problem completely. And that is absolutely not true because it's only taking care of number two. We haven't addressed the inflammation, and we also haven't addressed number three, the contributors. And I find that very often uh, these, uh, these providers don't teach you how to deal with those things on your own if you're already going to see the chiropractor. So we're still taking care of the effects uh, of the pain or the inflammation. You want to do some stretching with that, look at our specifics, and you can take whatever pain medications you want, but don't substitute that for the anti-inflammatory medicine. Three, you want to take care of the contributors. What are you doing to cause this inflammation uh, to be worse on a regular basis? Let's say we're talking about back pain. If you're trying to protect yourself from the back pain by sort of leaning forward and limping, notice that that posture is going to be causing all sorts of uh, spasms of these muscles and making it a little bit worse. Or if you're continuing to do something uh, like sitting at a desk and using a uh, poor posture like this, or slouching as you walk around, that's going to be contributing to these things on a long basis. And so you've got to try and uh, stand the posture up. Look at how you're standing in a mirror. See if you need to rotate your shoulders outward. See if you need to pull your posture backwards. Anything that might be causing this inflammation to get worse on a regular basis has to be addressed. If you're an athlete, sometimes the sports that you're playing may be exacerbating it and uh, talking to your doctor or talking to your coach about techniques, whether that be jogging, uh, whether it be contact sports, see if those things are contributing to it too. And maybe we just simply need to modify these things in order to make it so that your musculoskeletal problem starts getting better rather than getting worse. That's my uh, system, and I hope you uh, get some benefits out of this. And if you need any other uh, advice, send us an email.